now criminalizes intentional spreading of what Moscow deems to be fake reports. It has now said that it will impose a penalty of 15-year imprisonment on those who are found guilty. The Kremlin has also blocked Facebook and Twitter for users for failing to delete the content that's been banned by the Russian authorities. It has also imposed blocks on multiple media outlets, including the BBC and Radio Liberty. In response, BBC and Bloomberg have announced temporary suspension of work, and CNN has also stopped its broadcast in Russia. Our next report gets you the details. Russia is blocking Facebook in its country, according to its communications regulator on Friday. Russia said that Meta Platform's Facebook was being blocked for restricting state-backed channels. In a statement posted on Twitter, Meta's head of global affairs, Nick Clegg, said the company would continue to do everything it could to restore its services. It read in part, quote, Soon, millions of ordinary Russians will find themselves cut off from reliable information deprived of their everyday ways of connecting with family and friends, and silenced from speaking out. TASS news agency reported on Friday that Russia has also restricted access to Twitter. Russia has made several moves to crack down on foreign news media in recent days. It also blocked the websites of the BBC, Deutsche Well, and Voice of America for what it said was false information about the war in Ukraine. On Friday, the BBC said it would temporarily suspend its work in Russia after introduction of a new law that could jail anyone found to be intentionally spreading fake news. Vion is now available in your country. Down